The Alfa Romeo 8C is one of the most important cars at the time it came out to Alfa Romeo and one of the prettiest cars that has ever been produced. This car shaped the design of the 4C and is the 4C's older brother essentially. Now this car isn't widely known by non-car people or even people who are slightly interested and Alfa lovers will obviously know this but I think it needs to be given more attention. When it first was released Jeremy Clarkson had access to it on Top Gear and brought up the question can a car be art and use this as a sample. The clip's on YouTube so go check it out if you want but he does answer the point of this along with many other alphas are incredible looking and for how highly rated and how much the average person loves the 4C this car needs more attention as a result. I mean just look at it. The fact that it's Alfa Romeo as well just adds to it and it's a unique quirky thing but it is still beautiful. It's got an ugly face but it still you go wow when you see it. The rear end is shaped like an Aston Martin but it's an Italian, it's not a British up itself sort of styling. It's patriotic to its own Italian nature and its own Italian brand. And that's exactly what this car is. It's a bespoke, unique and proudly Italian car that was brought out as one of 500 cars initially for 110k. And its purpose essentially was art. It was artistic to have a limited number of them to people who really did want them as collector's items or wanted them as a status symbol of a, as, as a car or particularly loved Alphas. And they were initially sold, if you were invited to buy one, they were initially sold at £110,000. And they are way higher than that now if you can even find one because they are rare. And the 4C has driven up that, that price. And in that Top Gear clip I mentioned earlier about Clarkson, he does mention that it is shocking to drive. Shocking to drive around a track anyway because that's all he touches upon. But I imagine as, a, as an everyday car and what it will actually be used for, it does perfectly well. And it has got a hell of a lot of power behind it. Uh, well, it's got a Maserati 4.7 litre V8 with 450 horsepower. So it's going to do most jobs that you need of a car relatively well. And the 8C somewhat restarted the revitalisation of Alpha's brand. Because they are clearly known for being badly made cars. That the electronics are always known to go wrong on older models. And in the early 2000s, that was still happening with what they were bringing out. But now, you look at the Alpha Julia Quadrifoglio, you look at the Alpha 4C, you look at this, this is what really started that change. Yes, they've got the Stelvio and it's not really my, my sort of car, but it does sell. And the 8C signifies a lot of what I really want behind the intention of a car. It's a bespoke item that's supposed to appeal to people as a thing to be nurtured, a thing to be treasured. It's not supposed to be a perfect thing around a track and it's not supposed to be something that everybody would initially recognise. It is, it is something for the driver to enjoy and treasure as his own either art or source of driving pleasure. And there's not enough cars that are now being manufactured with that intention. And that's really what, in, in my opinion anyway, drives a lot of petrol heads gears is that kind of intention behind any sort of project. At the end of the day, what do I know about the significance of certain alphas? I drive a white Ford Fiesta. That tells you everything.